super pretty corals and lots of things living on them and lots of pretty things like in this. between. Yeah, like this. So this oh, is... That's beautiful. It's hard to tell unless we're on the other side if it's an Ophiroid or a Brasingid, but... Looks like it's a dead... Uh, very yeah, it's dead. a dead tree to pleura, I think. And then it, there are also... I don't know if these are stoloniferin or not stoloniferins, um, um, zoanthids, yeah. There is a squat lobster. Squat lobster. Squat lobster. Squat lobster. Oh, if we could get a good zoom on the squat lobster, that'd be awesome. For dear Paula, and there's a polychaete there too. That's cool. And Leila, tell me one more time. What, what did you say it was at the top? Sorry. Uh, I th it's actually looking more and more like a Brazingid sea star. Those are also really cool. They kind of feed like Velcro. Their arms are like Velcro. They have these tiny, each of those spines has all these tiny little uh, things on them called pedicillaria, but they basically look like little jaws, as if like plier jaws or like vice grip jaws. Um, so on each of those spines, those are all covered in these teeny tiny little jaws oh, nice that grab nice everything that's coming by, and then the two feet move the stuff that's been grabbed toward the mouth. This so is a great squat lobster. A lot of sea stars have five arms. This one appears to have six. Yeah, the Brazingids can have Brazingids more arms. Do. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I think that's a good zoom there. The arms that are reminding me of those toys that we had when we were kids, and you would put them together and they would stick together. I forget what those are called. Legos? No. <laughs> <laughs> Playmobil? Oh, I forget what they're called. It's saying, in, uh, someone in the chat saying, it almost looks like an Easter lily. Hmm. And our comment from Jupiter, Florida, says that they are heading out to do some research in seagrass surveys. So oh, nice. fun. Congratulations. We hope you have a wonderful time. I used to do those quite frequently. Yeah, we both went to undergrad in Florida, right? You went I did to, my did master's, master's in, in Florida. Florida. I did undergrad in St. Petersburg, Florida at Eckerd College, and I did a whole bunch of labs uh, for marine marine science classes out on seagrass beds or sandbars or mangroves. Super nice. Nice. I used to see seagrass quadrats in my dreams after <laughs> after multiple days of seagrass service. Right. We did them twice a year. Well. I used to know the scientific names for so many things mm. that lived in Florida and shallow water, and now I feel like I've replaced all of that with deep sea stuff. <coughs> I've got somebody in the chat trying to help me figure out the name of that toy. Don't you worry, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna find it. <laughs> a little hard to remember names at two in the morning sometimes. <laughs> Google remembers. Oh, Google remembers always. You could always ask Jeeves. Who's Jeeves? <laughs> Jeeves who? You dated yourself, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> I've dated myself because I understood what you were talking about. So it's interesting, it's like we're coming to kind of rolling slopes in between these kind of almost rubble, rubble fields. Right. <clears throat> like more consolidated rock right. and then rubbly rock. I don't know why it is that some is more broken than the rest. <clears throat> if it's slightly steeper or what. How oh. that would even influence it.
Hmm? You're about oh. to tug. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. All right. Well, the best I got so far are bristle blocks. But bristle blocks. Can you be more descriptive on the toys? I think there's probably a brand name of them that's just not. Where you put arms on toys? Like. Well, it's basically like a flat surface, and then there's like lots of different spikes sticking up, and then they just stick together. Is that a crinoid there on the? I was just looking at that. It looks like a windmill. Yeah, I think it's crinoid. Is it stocked or just attached to something? I think it's just attached on top. Yeah. You can zoom in on that, Bonus. Ooh. Yeah, very pretty. And you know, we got a question in the chat about our watch. We are the 12 to 4 watch, and I have noticed that there have been times where it's not coming up with all of the watch members. So I am Ashley Glickley, Science Communication Fellow. We have several members here of our team. And you're right, Good Leela morning, is our science lead on the team Good right now. Right. With my fearless co-leader, Haisa, mm -hmm. helping me know anything about black corals and sea pins. <laughs> and sea pins, which we have not seen. We saw a lot of Okay. Do you mean the toys with like the pins? Yes. Where you they sea take, pins, yes. Where you take imprints? Um, no. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> which, what did we see w earlier? Uh, actually, was view of cofibulominums. Oh. Yeah. Those are cool. They are. It's quite uh, small colonies. What's the largest sea pen you've seen, Haisa? Could we zoom on that coral right in front of us? Just yeah, while we're all these waiting a little? I yeah. I think it was uh, Ambelula. It's Go ahead, Banos. Ambelula is pretty. How tall was it? Roughly two meters. Two meter umbelula wow. sea pen. My goodness. Oh, look at all these guys. These. Whoa. These ophiroids. I know. Folks. I feel bad. Uh, I, I don't know if it's the thruster wash or the bright lights or what, but a lot of times when you zoom in on these, they start jumping ship. They're like, we're out of here. Yeah. Like, oh, no, so this is a calyptrophora. I think it's gonna be this one on the little bottom left. Looks like a brittle star party. It does. Ain't no party like Holding a Holding on tight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Could we eight, zoom nine, real ten. tight on that, or is that full zoom? Well, I That's full. Zoom. That's okay. Full it's zoom. not a... I was just saying, if, if we were in a good spot already to <laughs> zoom further. <laughs> but I like watching one over to the right that's like stretching really far. It's like, if I stretch my arm out a little bit. <laughs> oh, no, wrong way. We can oh, zoom amazing. out. Anything else that you're seeing, Haisa, that's mm. of special interest? Well, there is a few colonists here, but I think it was the same. All the same as what we were seeing earlier, yeah. Seeing earlier. All right. I wish there were more of those fan Chrysogorgias because that was like the biggest Chrysogorgia fan I've ever seen. But we only saw like two colonies right there in that weird crack. That uh, sponge on the, oh wait, no, that's the same one we've been seeing, just kidding. It looks like an owl. Yeah. It's interesting like when you have a bigger uh, rock like a bow uh, yeah boulder. a boulder is covered in stuff <laughs> very occupied probably could give you a little bit more height maybe yeah. in the water column cool oh tugging is there anything on the left or right No. Although more consolidated over there. I think we're kind of in the middle of two 
slopes of more consolidated. Yeah, it kind of broadens too now. Like the ridged, I don't know, it seems why well, maybe I'm making that up. No, I think you're right. All right, so well, it's going up. We're about to go up more as well. Um, I wonder Interim. if we could, Lynette, instead of going straight towards waypoint three, I don't know, but like be a little bit, or whatever, take that same line between where we are now and waypoint three and just move it southward uh, so that we're along the edge of the bridge, if that makes sense at all. Does that make sense, or sh should I explain that differently? So I don't think you're on SPL. Do you? I guess all I'm getting at is that in the direction that James is going, just a little bit off, seems very interesting. So if we could just like keep slightly down. We're gonna go off the little, a little bit of the beaten path. Here we go, finding some stuff. You mean yeah. do like a straight line between here and waypoint four? Um, I guess a little closer to that. Yeah. But yeah. there you go. Less, less towards waypoint four. Less further south. Yeah. I'm kind of doing this. Yeah, that's great. Just mowing the lawn back oh, and this forth. Is this interesting. So is yeah, that's a cool feature. Up it's ahead, like that little ledge that's sticking out. Right. I mean, it's a cool rock feature. I, I wish I knew more, could interpret the that geologic formation better, but... Oh, look at all I'm going to use the word friable that I heard oh, in an I earlier know. watch. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's a beautiful <laughs> cool. colony. Oh, now that's a party. Wow. Huge Calyptrophora. In terms of primenoids, I think... Oh, and then I w after we look at that, I'd like to zoom on this. Sure. We There's something very special about that ahead. coral and its Great. location. I'm gonna zoom in there, Panos. A little while. Nice. That's a party. Yep. <laughs> oh my All right. Should sing we do like a uh, guess how many there are and you win a prize kind of thing? <laughs> yeah. How many jelly beans in the jar? Uh. <laughs> how many constellations? I would can say you make? forty. Uh, um, uh, 41. <laughs> oh, <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> and a shrimp for the shrimp count. Who do you think you are, Gabby? Oh, nice. You got those shrimp you goggles on over place. there tonight, Jane. Good job. I've just been slowly adding to them without saying anything. Is that a crazy gorgeous there? Uh, where were just you Just below looking? the lasers below. now. Just below the lasers. Well, yeah, there is. a little is. bit further below the lasers Yeah, now. could we actually look at that one? It's right here. Yeah. It looks um, sparsely branching, but actually looking in the Triclops camera, you can see it, it spirals kind of like Magnus Brawless. I don't know what the juveniles the look box? like of that. Panos, is that cinematic camera still available for the viewers? Yes, satellite feed three. Still on channel three? Yes. Is that what, that's oh what yeah. this one is? That's awesome. Yes. Yep. Yeah, I've, I've been watching that a lot. That's actually. a great it's camera. Nice. It's a nice camera. Um, All right, let's get it in the main camera. Yeah. Get some zoom looks on Looks like uh, there is a trisopathies here. That looks like trisopathies. Mm. The cinematic camera gives you a good view of the rocks. It does. Uh, there we go. Come on. I'm just gonna have to hold it here. You go ahead and zoom, Panos. There is so many bunch of parties as well. I know so much black coral. Also, I'm I'm noticing a lot more of those like small hyalinema looking sponges from earlier, Jane. Mm. I think that is spiraling, like you say. Also, yeah. I don't know if it's Looks just like a juvenile or a ritigorgia or. Um, I 
And then if we could look at, I don't, I'm, now I'm like, where did it go? Oh, that, that there, up in the right-hand corner. I'm trying to guess from here what it is, but. It's something translucent with some body parts inside of it. And that's either feels like Holotherian, except that they wouldn't be over this rock. So I'm mm. leaning towards like predatory tunicate. Wow. But let's see what it is. You can go ahead and zoom, Panos. Oh, well. <laughs> Interesting. Is that a sea cucumber? It is actually as a sea cu cucumber. Interesting. Yeah. Wow. Huh. There's not a lot of sediment and there here. there isn't, but it's still sediment. got a full gut of sediment. Yeah, <laughs> so. Oh, I didn't quite get a good photo on that. Oh. Okay, hold on, hold on. Please keep the zoom there, keep the zoom there. Coming back. There we go. That'll have to do. Yep, that's good. Thank Thanks. you. Mm. It's rare to see them up in the mm. in the rocks like that. Um, I mean, they're on rocks sometimes, but they're definitely a lot more common over the, the sediment because it's the sediment that they're taking in and then e extracting the good stuff from. Extracting the good stuff. I'm trying to, get to the remember the, the oh, word that Jane taught us. Is, is amazing. What's that? Turbate or bioturbation? Yeah, that's a great yeah. rock. Actually, both other watches discussed that before <laughs> us. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to tell you folks about something <laughs> new. <laughs> well, we don't have a lot of Let's sediment see. to bioturbate up here, so. No, yeah. it's got the juice. <laughs> oh, don't the corn don't start with the corn song again. <laughs> Unless oh, my daughters the, are watching, the and then, song. then we have to sing it. I heard that all for the first time today, and I... The first time? I, yeah, I'm over here I laughing about... I was about to about ask if you lived under a rock, but then I realized you were probably just at sea the whole time. I, I think I was in Antarctica, actually, when this happened, so... That's a funny that's look. That's my excuse. <laughs> oh, that's a cool... Um, If we could just pan to the left real parade. quick. Is that two? We guys? don't have to go closer, but the this double -headed is... double-headed looking we thing? I haven't seen... Oh, um, we haven't seen that primnoid oh, I thought you were going structure to yet. I think it's a primnoid from here. Uh, Norella. We've been seeing a lot of Calyptrophora, mm. but that looks like Norella. Yeah, because their branch is much higher in I've the colony than the... It's that like dichotomous branching, but I could be wrong and it could actually be Calyptrophora too now that I'm looking closer because it, 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 I don't see any oh, now there's secondary there's branches fish. off of that. Jellyfish. That so might just be a smaller Calyptrophora. Is this that lie rate morphology you were mentioning before? Yeah. Which jelly. I just Googled, and it means having a shape suggestive of like a liar. Like a liar, yeah. L-Y-R-E, for those listening. Not L-I-A-R. <laughs> Are you that? calling you me know? a liar? <laughs> I know what a, what a liar looks we're like. We're good here. there. We can move okay. on. Move on. And Thank we're back you. to spelling things. <laughs> <laughs> This is an interesting rock feature. Yeah, it is. Lots of stuff here. It's cool. That spiraling unbranched bamboo coral. Mm. Oh, well, that's a nice one. Smaller polyopagon. That one uh, sponge that looks like one of those fish treats. Fish treats. Yeah, it's like a fish paint. Like oh, the like flakes? Uh, no. No, they're it's basically like a. Are these fish treats humans eat or fish eat? Uh, it, it, like it, goldfish? Something that we eat. Oh, it, oh goldfish? No. <laughs> it is like a... <laughs> sweet like pastry. Fish. It's like a pastry. Oh. Oh. It's in the shape of a fish, but then it has like usually some filling and stuff inside. Oh. Yummy. Like a waffly thing. I feel like that's kind of like an Instagram pastry, though. Like a... Like, yes. Like, <laughs> like a, a red bean or green tea filled thing. Sometimes, yes. 
Well, what? What do you mean? Like an Instagram? I almost see Terrace is in the rock a little bit. We can't start like, talking about food until... Until three. halfway through. Yeah. Yeah. So we're good. Yeah. <laughs> Carry on. Just checking. No, I was going to say 3 o'clock, but we're good. It's 3 o'clock somewhere. Yeah, true. <laughs> uh, Big actually, boulders here. I don't know if it is. No, it wouldn't be. It's 3.39 <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have a question in the chat about how much the surface temperature Could we zoom, sorry, the water temperature? Um, a good. little back to the right. Uh, out of frame. Bottom right corner on this coral there behind the polyopagon. Oh. Yeah, give me a second, I'll come around to the left. Thanks. We have some time, um, uh, Adeline's just catching up, so. Cool. What were you asking, was that Ashley? Um, yeah, sorry, it's about the surface temperature and how does that influence the temperature at depth? Um, those are uh, pretty well separated, so uh, the surf, were they asking what the surface temperature is? Yeah, it's just basically how much does surface temperature influence, influence. Mm -hmm. lower down? Well, this water, has traveled here from quite far away and is still the temperature that it was when it sank. Um, so the temperature, what is it right now, Jean? Like right now we are at 2.3 degrees yeah. Celsius. I yeah. can also tell you what the um, temperature was around the surface. If so you're interested, it was around 30 degrees Celsius. So oh, in wait, that actually might have been before we got off deck. Hang on. In the deep sea, 22. it's uh, usually between 2 and 4 Let's degrees there, Celsius Thomas. down here. Um, so very cold, and the water that is down here sank at a high latitude oh, oh, oh. when it became very cold and very mm -hmm. dense, and then uh, ultimately eventually flowed into the Pacific. Um, it probably sank somewhere closer to Antarctica or closer to Iceland, and, um, and so it's still as cold as it was then. Uh, water mass is actually can be identified and traced. Um, and if I know it's going to be hard to get a tight zoom on that. Yeah. But if possible. It's just orientation with us towards yeah, that line. We're getting okay. pulled around. But, um, I know okay. I keep saying this, but that cinematic cam is just so beautiful. I know. This is a, it's a bamboo, actually. Yeah. That sponge I thought it might and be a hard coral. feathery coral over there. We're good on that zoom now. No. Roger that. Um, Water masses can be traced very well by their temperature and salinity. So they're uh, kind of all the layers of the water between where we are now and what we passed through originated in different places. And you can tell something about that story from their salinity and temperature. That's really interesting. I never knew that. Yeah. Oh, another Rodana ritigorgia. Um, the function of thermodynamics. And... And uh, up up closer to the surface, I mean, there's definitely the influence of however warm it is in the overlying uh, atmosphere. And But warm water is less dense than cold water, so mm. it, it layers very stably unless there's a hurricane passing over like there was <laughs> recently. Fish. Um, yeah, that, we haven't yeah, seen a lot of fish. Nice. If we could zoom on the fish. Yeah. That's a, um, a rat tail. Oh, that's a great bitty zoom. Bitty nice. Bitty bitty rat tail. Don't move. It All right, looks don't move. Don't move, fishy. It looks like uh, Kumba. K-U-M-B-A. Oh, yeah. And Cory Phenoides, if you remember my friend Cory Phenoides. Uh, oh. Cory Phenoides. Oh. You made that that's up. That's, that's, not not a, that's, that's not a thing. That's the one I was trying to remember. Cory Phenoides? Cory Phenoides. I don't even Corey know if that's a, a rat tail, but it's a bigger it's a bigger one. And so, uh, but I loved the Kumba because they just look like miniature Cory Phenoides. I'm trying to figure out how to spell Cory Phenoides. Who thought it. of that? Who thought that was a good name for a fish? A sadist <laughs> who wanted to make everyone struggle. Jared uh, Phenoides. What is that orange <laughs> thing that's just about the frame? Another anemone? Sorry, what, well, uh, do we, is it, pa oh, is it gone? Um, yeah, that's okay though. Oh, this is a big colophacus in front of us. Uh, what, oh, what is it, what? <laughs> Colophagus, oh. like cauliflower, okay. but a fake one. The sponge. Right? <laughs> Col <laughs> Colifakes us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh, that, Collie good. fake, maybe you. <laughs> Except good. the fake is spelled P H. That was good. That was good. Oh, so even it's, that's it's a fake. fake with a P H. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh man. <laughs> the cool cauliflower. <laughs> this is a very cool. One. You can zoom on that panel if you like. That's 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 worthy to be proud. <laughs> is about. the three really m high? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, man. Whoa. Is that flower with a PH too? <laughs> yeah, the flower's not part of the name. <laughs> that is so funny. But, but it would be with a PH. Oh, it is now. Well, if we're talking about food, I'm into cauliflower He's tacos. Okay. So, so gonna, uh, the flower is actually F L O U R, flower. <laughs> Wait, what'd you say? No, never mind. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's what I'm asking. I could totally have been wrong about the fish going off about Kumba. Is the Corypheinoides, is that the tr uh, tripod fish? No, that's the the big rat tail. Okay. The one we got a nice headshot of? Yeah. Oh, Taiyaki oh, yeah, is the fish treat that you guys were oh, talking about. Oh, that actually just came <laughs> up in the chat, too. I was like, I was like, is that, did I have the fish species wrong? <laughs> or Taiyaki. genus wrong? Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you. Now we just need to find out that toy. Let's zoom in. What is that? Oh, I've never had taiyaki. That looks really it's, interesting. It, it is very interesting. Um, oh, what is that? What are you? Find if you have a place that a very translucent that shrimp. It or has it. Oh, it's a. Is, oh, what are you? Oh, sorry, I was too close to the vehicle. It's uh, hanging out. Run bubbles like to the left. That's uh, gone. Yeah. That's okay. That was cool. Yeah, what was that? I don't, I don't know. I thought at first I was like, it was a shrimp, and then it looked like a worm, and I yeah. find it, I find it looks like a fish. I don't know. Shapes that uh, that these sponges take, like uh, some of them are obviously very like dish, but then like you have some that have, like a weird prop looking. Are you talking about taiyaki? I'm talking about the sponges. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was still thinking about the fish shape. These trees. <laughs> they really do look like fireworks, don't they? Let's get oh, that yeah. one angle. Is that an Uritic Orja? Yeah, it is. Could we actually look, and despite the fact that there's a beautiful Uritic Orja in front of us, uh, um, down of the Uritic Orja? Sure. To uh, right, left, or right uh, below just it? Just straight, straight uh, out of frame. All right, back it up. Maybe I'm just making this up. Could we zoom right there? <laughs> it could totally be. <laughs> I can't totally believe we, we never hear the ROV. Be a That's dead stock. <laughs> but it almost looks like a cup curl. Sorry. Another watch was doing the laser beams, and we're doing the backup camera. <laughs> What's the laser beam sound? They were going. <laughs> pew, pew. Oh, God. Pew, pew, pew. Come on. We only hear it when you turn them on, though. <laughs> you can zoom in there, panel. Sorry. I'd yeah. You can hear when you turn it on because it makes a ripple. It's just a dead stock. Never mind. Thank you. Oh, dead stock. But there are tiny little yeah. sponges on that rock. Sure. Oh, cam. wow. Trant. I get it in the cam. Up to six. No, 21. We can zoom on the shrimp. <laughs> Shrimpy zoom. Yay, shrimp. Go ahead, Panos. For once, it's not moving too much. Someone asked about our research objectives for the shrimp count earlier. Uh, uh, very, very high person, level. Personal. Yeah, high personal level. Per massive <laughs> project. <laughs> it's actually classified. Yeah. It's so classified. classified. That's a pneumatic, that's so pneumatic carcinage shrimp. What's well, the white thing behind it? Yes, good there. Uh, the white thing behind looks like an umbellopathies coral. Black coral, this one, if that's what you're talking about. That is yeah. the one I'm talking about. Yeah, umbellopathies, black coral. Lots of black coral. I mean, even this one shot, there's like, I don't know if that's lillopathies on the right there. That's tristopathies. There. There's staropathies. We've been seeing really, really interesting Looks black corals. I mean, I could just look at this aridocordia all day. So beautiful. It looks so good in that uh, cinematic cam. Yeah. yeah. Let's bring it up right in the middle. And oh, that yeah. would be yeah. on channel uh, three like if you're it. looking. Ba, ba, ba. This probably is. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're good. We crossed it. Uh -huh. 
like a piano player, like an improv piano player, to give us a like, great cinematic experience <laughs> when we're getting these shots. And we need an orchestra to go along with it. Yeah. Yeah. I'll pitch that to LVT see so if you can get that next cruise or something. Just jumping ahead here. Yep, that's good. Fall fell a little bit behind. We oh, have a question good. about whether or not we've seen a certain type of jelly on the Ritagorgia. Uh The Aginona? Yes, sorry, I couldn't pronounce it. That's okay. Uh, we, I haven't noticed any Aginona on this yet, but um, we did collect some on the Kingman Paul Myra expedition, and those are cool. They're hydroids, actually, so they're like, they're not really jelly fish from the, the Scyphozoa, like most jellyfish. They are the Medusa form of a eaten. hydrozoan. Hmm. There's so bare oh, underneath. Yeah, there's so a bare star. underneath the star. I, I don't think that's, well, can we zoom on the sea star? Yeah. Usually ahead, what this looks like would not be eating the coral. Oh, but it's, I, a, I don't, it's dead tissue. It's a, it's a brazingid. I don't think it's, I don't think it's the one that ate the coral. But could if we, I don't know, it's probably not possible to zoom more on the underside of it. That would require re-angling. Oh, loads of uh, black corals at the base. Yeah, oh, lots of black corals. Even see them. From the left, underside? Yeah. Uh, zoom out. Are you trying to see if they have an eviscerated stomach? Uh, it's not, it's it's a brazingid, so I would be very surprised if it was feeding, but it Keep would be it. cool to get a better look. Keep it zoomed out for a second, Thanos. Get a better spot and then we'll zoom in. Oh wow, this shot's up. amazing. Yeah, I just want to make sure we're sitting happy. There we go. All right, go ahead and zoom in. Ah, oh, perfect. It's hard to tell. It's like yeah, tell. it is hard to tell, but uh, you can keep coming around if you'd like. Or that, that's okay. If right. it follows the if it follows the stem, do you think it gets dizzy on its if own? It <laughs> if it follows the whirl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's reminding me of those, um, you know, the poles at the please. playgrounds that you used to slide oh, down. Oh yeah. I'd get dizzy on those. <laughs> Kind of took you a second to get the hang of them, but once you did, it was like, whoa, this is so, so many cool. black corals. I mean, look at how many black corals there are here. Are there any here, Haisa, that you're like, this is interesting. I really can't tell what it is. This is worth a sample because just call it out if so. Yeah. Take a good look before we I leave. There's. Well, for me, most of these are very interesting. All of them are yeah. super interesting, and I think. Um, I need to check with Steve what has been collected or not. Yeah. But I know for some of the, we still is not clear in terms of the the ones that shape looks like bat patties. Can yeah. be a bit tricky to identify sometimes. Yep. Um, I'm not sure if. J I Got a rat view, tail coming here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if we can check with, for instance, with Jeremy, is it, I don't know if he's there with yeah. Gina. But I think I'll that is more sparsed yeah, this of here. Uh, th these ones I think not so much and I think these w so far S Steve said he, he collected he collected that one that's the one that's but in I the but I think the ones that has been more oh, tricky to identify would be uh, looks like but, but, but this could one be is heteropathy quite or but, um, wow yes thank you for zooming on that that's uh, nice just a quick diversion. That's a another rat tail, and this is a really good view of their modified um, hey. modified pectoral fins that they use to kind of feel around on on the on the bottom sea seafloor bottom while they're feeding. Because we collect one of these, but like there is a small ones, uh, and sometimes there is some that looks like bat pads, but it's very sparse. Um, the, the, the pinnels and the, yeah. the branch is quite sparse, and I, I'm not sure of the idea of that ones. Okay, these aren't those though, right? And this is kind of, this is like what we collected, no? We should yeah. get moving soon, so if we want a sample, we gotta do it. 
I'm just going to have a look, sorry. No, it's okay. I just... Uh, Thank you for heads up. Yeah. Yeah, I just I don't want to collect it down to make sure we, you know, I'm going to check better with Steven the next time. Okay, we yeah, can keep we, going we then. Can. But okay. definitely ones that look like bug parts that's more sparse okay. to collect. Yeah. Moving on. Thanks. Let's see if we can get this in the cinematic cam. Well, the difference of sizes is huge. What's the music that would go along with this? Awesome. I think this is out. It's not focused. All right, let's get ahead of here. Stay on the, the right side of this ridge. Thank you. Look how different the rock features are, even just meters apart. Yeah. Oh. These are like huge Super, broken, yeah. broken structures. Some of them and are so flat. rough, and some of them are so smooth and what flat. Is, oh yeah, what is that? that? Oh oh oh! Looks like a bird. If almost. you need to get ahead, that's okay. It was just a. Um. We yeah. That's we okay. Go, go ahead. Go yeah. ahead. It just looked like a sponge with things sticking out of it, but I don't know if that, that, that was just weird uh, coral bases below it. We might just oh, make it to waypoint three after all. Amazing. Yeah, these are great shots. Oh, so here's basically all black corals. All black corals. I know, I don't even see any. Like there's one primnoid there in the middle. I'm going to um, um, to review the pictures of this. Yeah. Yeah, and then yeah. we'll check which one has been collected because I know in the beginning of this dive, Paula collect one. One as well. black coral, yeah. Yeah. That's okay. Oh, looks like we're going to be going downhill here for a second. Uh -oh. A little bit. What is that? It looks like an Aritagorgia, uh, but not in great shape, huh? Oh, it looks like it's getting eat. Is there something on there? Is that not just polyps further down? Um, yeah, that is, uh, that is remaining branch further down. And I don't know what that is up top. It looks just though like an ophiroid. It's not actually. It should also not, should not be, be eating, eating it. it. Right. It's a fun angle to look at this. Yeah. Could in, we in how how zoom, zoom on the yeah the un uncovered on the skeleton part of it? Yeah. Give me a second here. Zoom out, Panos. Ah, uh, the one that they collected was the. Okay. There we go. Bathopathies. Oh. Yeah. It was Bath of Bathies. Really? It there. says here. No? That might have been the one I sampled, no? It was from Moronke, unless you're still logged in as Moronke. No, Moronke. I'm not. Um, there's maybe tiny hydrids, but oh, that looks actually a lot still like the the coral skeleton itself. And the, yeah, that just Oops. should not be eating it. It's weird how it's like it has like skin on it. Yeah, the top right you're talking about. Yeah, that that's the tissue of the, of the coral. Of the coral. Cool. Mhm. Mm that's a beautiful shot. Yeah. Okay, we're all right there. All right. So 
So we're going this way. Fifty. We've got a nice comment in the chat. Port Angeles saying good morning to Nautilus. What a beautiful start to the day. Oh. Thank you. We really appreciate all these well wishes that we're getting today. Thank you all so much. Yep, they said bathopathies when they collected it beside Rita Gorgia. Yeah, so I don't think it was bathopathies. At least I didn't see any bathopathies in that picture. No, it wasn't, wasn't the bathopaths for sure. Um, let me see what time that was and see if I can get any other pictures. That was 0856. I think these are my favorite. These ones are cool. Seems like we're only They're coming up, only coming up yeah. to them st like head on. I'm doing that on, on purpose. I like this angle. <laughs> Is that right? That's sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like those a lot too. They're really beautiful. They're st yeah. stunning in that cinematic camera, especially. Just gonna slow down a little bit. We're pulling out a lot. Yep. Yeah. Let's take a look. Um, this landscape is definitely a lot different than. Yeah, it's changed quite a bit. Do we want a Niskin? Yeah, you what know, thank you for bringing that up again because we're in an area with a lot of black corals, which in the beginning it was. Let's see, was it black Poly corals in the beginning too? It was it was kind of a mix. There was he the second one had more hemichorallium in it. Do you have it on, in the notes still what we were near in the first one? It was kind of more when Calyptrophora. And that was when we first got to the very top yeah. of the ridge. That was six. That was like where we were just overwhelmed by diversity. Um, the second one, we were really still, I think we took it because we were around a lot more hemichorallium. Yeah. The first one, though, what can you list the corals that were there again? Yes. Give me one second. Sorry, while you guys are doing this, do you want yeah. us to grab another one? Uh, no, we're, okay. we're deciding sorry, still. Okay, sorry. I, all right. That's okay. Um, but if you want to position near a bunch of black corals in case we do decide sure, to collect, that see would be what great. I can see. Our first Niskin had uh, black Shows corals, including bathopathies, primnoids, okay. phoreids, hyalonema, chrysogorgids, bamboo coral, tritoploria. Well, maybe this would allow us to have less bamboo in it or something. <laughs> well, we don't have nearly as many of the polyopagon mm -hmm. sponges. Yeah, right. So here's a great spot. Yeah, why don't we take why don't we take a, another Niskin? This should be Niskin 4, I believe. Because we're working backward, right? So 654. Yep. Mm -hmm. And yeah, at least I it's would in order. Just highlight that this is like, I guess, well, around two meters off bottom, but that it's mainly high diversity of black corals, uh, including bathopathies, staropathies. Uh, I don't know if trisopathies, that's with two S's, trisopathies. Um, do any look like lilypathies? Lily yeah, that's L-I-L-L-I. -L -L -I. And uh, I have been uh, discussing with Obrasco, that's the one of the authorities. Yeah. Of, uh, and we are seeing if the other one we collect is the sibopathies. Sibopathies. Do you think we saw, Is you're seeing that here? I see some columns very similar. That look similar? Sibopathies. Yeah. So we're going for four. And other things nearby include Aridogorgia, Magnus Brellis. Yeah, you can just say Aridogorgia is fine. Um, I'll take this picture. Oh, thank you. Hmm. But. If you were poly up gum, that's Come good. On. And some and some unbranched Got bamboos. Okay, thank you for watching that. Okay, frozen. And Hold then it. this one here. 
looks different. Um, but I'm not sure what it is. We want to take a quick zoom on it? Yes. Please. Sorry, can you circ... I didn't see what you guys were looking at. Okay, yeah. Uh, I th feel like it's probably going to be a primnoid, but maybe. Maybe it is a weird black girl. Yeah, it's a primnoid. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, we're all right. We don't have to zoom on it. Okay. No zoom. Did you find the picture of the previous? But for sure it was, wasn't the bad parties. Can we get our uh, down looking? Yeah, you're on it. Thanks, buddy. And it looks like it's starting to become a Monday morning on the East Coast now. So in case you are just now joining us, we are 1,874 meters exploring a an isolated seamount at the southwestern limit of the Johnston Atoll Exclusive Economic Zone. This area has been never visually explored, but has been previously mapped by last year's um, Nautilus expedition in A140. Oh, yeah. Our maximum is, depth is today was 2,900 meters. It's so we are working our way up at the seamount. Okay. I've seen some incredible diversity as we're going along, both with sea sponges, but also coral. Seeing a lot of black coral. And also some fun associates, too. All right, all right, all right. Oh. Things are starting to mellow out. And you're tugging. Yeah, I can see it. I'm slowing down. Thank you. Yeah, you're on it, man. Uh, I'm just here. I'm the co, you know what I'm saying? I'm not I'm just putting info out there for you. We're zooming in a little bit on some of the coral in the area. Wanna zoom in, Panos? On the pretty red one, pink. We're just waiting for the for Atalanta to kind of catch us up. Sure, yeah. To feel us, free so. to zoom on things while we're discussing back here. If you're waiting, looks like we've got another oh, cool. hemicorallium with an ophiroid. Oh, wow. There you go. That's really All good. tangled <laughs> up in there. Jane, okay. is that one sea star or a uh, brittle, uh, brittle star? star? Yeah. As far as I can tell. Yeah, it's one snake star. So these are, sorry, I'm chewing a cheese it. Um, these are in the group, the Urialids. Can you come wide, please? And that also includes the cool. basket stars. There's another cuscule or a rat tail. And the Urialids are. You zoom in. Named after Urialis, Ural, Ural, Urialis, I don't know how to pronounce her name, uh, but it's one of the three close. Gorgon sisters. So there's Medusa, Urialis, and I always forget the third one's name, but those are uh, the the sisters who had snakes for hair. Oh. There was Greek more mythology. than one? There were three. What? Three, oh, I didn't know that. Three Gorgon sisters. Medusa. Yep, and so one of them was Urialis, and that is what those snake, the, that group with the snake stars and... Um, and Basket Stars is named after. Is, and that the a, is that a squat lobster right there? Uh, where are you looking? I guess the clear-ish. Is that, my, is that a I barnacle? I see one. I see what look like maybe tiny sponges. Oh, well, maybe, okay. But yes, there is, of course, also this rat tail here. <laughs> In front of the slope. 
get them in a suction sampler. Ooh. That'd be hard. <laughs> They're too fast. Zethino? Can we zoom up, please? Is the third one? What was it? Zethino? Here, I'll, I'll look it up. The Gorgon S sisters. T H E N O. Oh, Stino. Stino. What Stino. did I say? Stino. No, no, no. Yeah, you, you yeah, said Stino. that. I'm just repeating for myself. And uh, Uriale is the other one. What is that? Oh, is there no S? Is it Uriel? Uriel yeah. something yeah. like that? It's Uri Yale. Uri Yale. <laughs> but it's a. You're going to be like, kind of, Uriale. You know? <laughs> you got to add emphasis somewhere. And I think um, Tina has confirmed, and Jeremy said it earlier too, that the, a lot of the orangey bathopathies we were zooming in on were bathypathies pseudo alternata. The orange ones, not the pink ones. Uh, what did we do? We just zoom on a pinky one. Well, earlier, we, did, we zoomed on a lot of them. Earlier, actually. it was an orangey <laughs> one that that Jeremy was stating was pseudo alternata. So is that the one we were looking for the associate on? Yeah, right okay. earlier. It's all coming together. I saw that is pink. Uh, these yeah, ones, these small ones. Right, that's those are right with the differing branch sizes. That's what they got earlier. Yeah, James, are we moving up? Yes, we're going uphill. A lot of Viridogorgia. And now more unbranching bamboos than before. Bamboos. And another yeah. Urialid sponge. <laughs> and a Brazingid. Is it safe to assume that the gold coral is gold coral, or is that not correct? No, the the so the the yellowy ones that we're seeing. Yeah. So those are Staropathy's black corals. Oh, okay. Mostly, I don't. There's probably other stuff in between. Zoom in on that. Pattern. And and even the Chrysogorgia, which are corals with gold skeletons, which you would want to call gold corals. Uh, we don't usually refer to as gold corals. Gold corals are actually the yellow zoanthids that we have collected samples of already on this cruise um, that overgrow other skeletons. Those are sometimes called gold corals commonly. So a very confusing name. <laughs> Such not a to be confused with what we're looking at right now, right. which is not a coral. Not, no, no, this is a crinoid. Yeah. It's a big crinoid growing on a seemingly small a black, black coral. coral. <laughs> and you can see how they grasp um, how how they grasp oh, yeah. with their lower appendages and then the calyx which is where the the upper arms and the lower appendages are meeting that's where they have most of their um their organs and uh and then yeah they use the arms pretty much ex exclusively for feeding feeding on whatever is floating by so we have a crinoid on a black coral and a shrimp on the crinoid yeah, right. <laughs> Layers of bio. Yeah. Sure. We have a question from v Vermont. Are sea stars considered normal, non-invasive uh, feature here in the biome? Can yeah. Come wide, please. Yes, they are um, common and expected. Uh, expected here and native. I'm guessing that question was asked probably because of the, the crown, crown of thorns, thorns sea stars, which do yeah. predate on corals. And some of these predate on corals too, but not to the extent that the invasive crown of thorns do. do. Yeah. Like they can take out entire colonies in days. Yeah, there's actually right now in French Polynesia, I um, did some work with colleagues who uh, do research at Gump Research Station on Morea in French Polynesia. And they have a long-term ecological research station there, but um, there's a project called ReCharge and they're looking, they had all these long-term cages set up with corals inside and the, the cages had varying hole sizes to let in different, different fish. Um, but it, within a, the span of Days. I mean, the re they so they go periodically to sample, um, sample the cages and and monitor mm -hmm. progress of the experiment. 
Zoom but in. they arrived there, and within a couple days of their arrival, uh, like h hundreds of Crown of Thorns sea oh, stars boy. basically were beginning to eat the entire experiment. And Is this a restoration experiment? No, it's um, just looking at the influence of like nutrients and pollution and uh, herbivory um, on on coral communities. So they exclude different herbivores, uh, herbivorous fish, and they, um, by making the different hole sizes, and they also have like slow release nutrients in some of the cages hmm. to simulate um, nutrient pollution. Interesting. But yeah, so the, they had to like emergency sample everything because it all got eaten. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah. So similar projects for restoration corals wide, have been please. done and they yeah, thank you. They use similar cages. It's something about putting out freshly cut corals really attracts Oh, interesting. Um, especially for like massive species like mount, like star corals and things like that. Um, they would just get eaten up. That was by the herb herbivorous fish that you're talking about, the so parrotfish specifically, but I wonder yeah. if there's some chemical cues that get put out for the um, crown of thorns as well. So that one just now that we passed looked kind of like Lef Lefroyella. Oh, shrimp. <laughs> a Lefroyella sponge. I uh, would love a spelling on that if possible. Uh, yes. Um, Which way? Sorry, was it something you wanted to see? Uh, it's distracted not by the urgent. Uh, do we have a second? It's just yes. to the right. Um, it's near the craft arm to the right. Sorry, oh, I wish I could circle on Atlanta. It'll we'll see it sh shortly. There it is, bottom of the screen. Ah. Oh. Um. I typed it in the chat. I got but it. Thank I'm you. I'm just confirming for myself. Well, if I spelled that one wrong, I'm promising you it will not be the only thing. That <laughs> <was misspelled. laughs> That's okay. No, not the spelling. Confirming the thing. That's interesting. It's got a little lip. Yeah. That. It's hard to tell. I might be wrong about that one. It might be a weird uretid sponge, actually. Zoom in on that. It does not like. Yeah. We can also get closer if we need I to. I take that back. It's a uretid of some kind. E U R. E. Or sorry, not uretid. Uh, euplectelid. Euplectelid. Yes, definitely a euplectelid. You can see the sieve plate now on top, just peeking through. But it has a very strange lip that, um, you know, it's not like the Rigadrella that usually. Is just a clean face. Um, I know we probably need to catch up, so that's good. Atlanta's just passing over us now, so we should get going. Yeah. I want to see if we have any pictures in the guide of weird <clears throat> lipped ones like that. If not, it could be worth a collect. Oh, we want to go. If there's another one, that's okay. Well, if it's important, we can stop the ship. Um, I'm not yet confident enough that it's important. Roger that. I also really don't want to take another sponge sample because it proved to be no <laughs> sponges are uh, okay so it's looking like rigadrella that has been sampled or has been seen before but i don't know that it's been collected because it's still question mark species okay well i so we probably still find it again if you want to go back uh it's okay if we okay, see all right. if we see another roger that grab it don't keep continuing on Are sponges easier to slurp, or would that damage the tissue too much? We used to slurp sponges, but you need more suction than it seems like we're getting off new build Herc slurp. So oh, it's uh, low power. Yeah, uh, yeah. It seems like I don't know. I don't know what you feel. Well, James, I guess you didn't fly old Herc, but if you feel like the slurp seems powerful compared to what um, you're used I think to. we'll be able to get a piece of sponge. Uh, yeah. Up the slurp, as long as it's not too big. 
we, we used to, to just like take the slurp up to the sponge and then break like you know oh it i don't would, think it's strong yeah enough i don't that. think that we can do that anymore yeah. it would have to be like a snip and it's small enough to slurp but yeah. which is doable at Maybe that point you might as well just snip it a smear yeah. and slurp but the slurp might be better than putting it in the bio boxes because it seems to be almost neutrally buoyant yeah and they any type of movement or thrust or anything it just kind of blows away like it did yesterday right i wonder if we could scoop it again neutrally buoyant yeah it would, it wouldn't stay in the scoop well i guess it could get caught in the mesh and stuff but i i, I would i imagine difficult to break right, it off I'm sorry, it's not scoop. a hard scoop it's got a it's got a net um still though a difficult to rip with that yeah Yeah, I never realized how very valuable the slurp was for so many different things. Yeah. Still you get so lucky many jellyfish and stuff too in there. Yeah. The flyby slurps the where fly you, just, you, you just don't hold it even out in front of you and then yeah. you just fly up to it. Yeah. Or even just like bring the porch around, don't even pick it up, just yeah. like <laughs> maneuver. Um Let's see, anything. Oh, there's an act. We don't have to zoom on it, but that's an actinostolid anemone. We haven't really seen many of those yet. We have a second. We can take a look. Okay. Oh, I like its orange base. Yeah. It's like a yellowy orange. You can zoom in on that, Panos. I don't like we're going to sit down. Oh, that's a pretty picture. Yeah, nice colors. Yeah, so the, seeing more Rigadrella sponges now too. It really stands generally. out. Generally, it does. I'm gonna bring the steel cam closer. Okay. That's really nice. And then, uh, if afterward, we have a moment to zoom on that sponge in the crevice. Oh yeah. Oh, is that a s ophiroid or a squat lobster floating down? I saw that floating down. It was floating down from the bamboo coral, but I think it oh. must be an ophiroid because there's so many of them. Oh yeah. Oh, nice picture. I think I'll turn the exposure up just a little. I think that is a great so picture. Too much. Yeah. yeah. Uh, then let's change the iris. There it is. Look at that. Leave the exposure there, and then the iris. Oh, it doesn't let us. Can okay. I zoom in there, Pops? What a nice little rock garden right there. Hmm. Is that a cup coral? Left right. <coughs> yeah. Left of the there anemone. Is a, uh, yeah, left of anemone, there is a cup coral. Could we zoom on the cup coral? You might want to circle it for them. Uh, yeah, that one right there. Oh my god, this is small. I never would have seen that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's tiny. I didn't even know that's a thing. That's not a thing. It's that's a thing. Uh, it's that's definitely a thing. it's definitely a thing. Oh, that's another anemone. Uh, is it? I think so. Yeah. It, it right. I don't I don't see the hard skeleton. It does look like a tiny little anemone. Hey, Bob. So ridiculous. It's just so cute. <laughs> yeah, good eye though. I was excited. How I was excited for Exclarctinian, but no. <laughs> now if the they had no like context, like these would be huge rubbly piles. Lasers are like, 10 meters yeah, apart. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Those are uh, massive, unbranching bamboos to the left. <laughs> um, okay, the sponge Gross on the strong. left is, is a, so a uretid so ridiculous. sponge, I Sorry, think. Sorry, yeah. Uh, hold, you can uh, zoom in all the way there, Panos. I that. don't oh, wow. think we have seen... We oh, really no, haven't no. seen uretid sponges yet that I've noticed. Um, no, that looks unique. I haven't seen that one yet. Yeah, that's very pretty. It is pretty. Um, I, I wonder what the sponge was that they collected earlier, too. I don't know. I can look that up. What number it was? Number I hate to is cramp it? your style, yeah, but I, would, go. I wouldn't be yeah, able, to, yeah, I wouldn't yeah, be able okay. to clip this. That's okay. Because it's too close to rocks on either side, and the fingers are really long. Thank you for sparing us our thinking yeah. through that. It looks like there is a mystical out, is there? Tiny? They can put water on that. Yeah. That on that fire, yeah. <laughs> right? Could be a really small stickopathies. Not an anemone, the color is just so beautiful. This looks 
like a fun rock. But I don't know what else it would be. Oh, yeah. that's a nice, um, that's a nice that shot from below. That's cool. Yeah. All right. Uh, All they said about the last sponge on was a okay. flat, flat last sponge. So we have a question in the chat about how deep we are. We're at 1,850 meters. And, and we are just up. taking samples of biology and geology in this area. It looks like we'll reach 1,700 meters before we come back up. Is that waypoint three, or that's at the t at the end? That's the summit. Chilly. So then that leads into another question of how much do you plan your route, or do you just have a general area? So we do have some pretty specific plans. Can we zoom in, Vanos? Oh, that's okay. <laughs> but on this on this route, we've definitely taken our turn. Ooh. Here zoom at the in end. there, yeah. There you oh. go. Oh, beautiful. Oh, okay. Keep it there. Ooh. Keep it there. Don't don't zoom out. Don't zoom out. Hold on. There we go. Ah, okay. Now oh. zoom out. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad. Oh we'll man. Get it. We'll get Wait. It. Very on. cool. Is that a jelly? Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Can zoom in there. Oh. I'm gonna get it with the laser. Oh. So hard to get that focus. Stop tank. moving. <laughs> what you doing? It's like he doesn't want to be on camera. Yeah, oh, it's he's probably. He's he's I can see him. I can see him. He's there. We're he's just, the, I'm just uh, bringing it back slowly. Otherwise, zoom in and then oh, it'll pass it's it hard, in two seconds. It's almost impossible to even see it. Yeah. yeah. What is that? Any ideas? Uh, what kind of jelly? I yeah. don't. I don't know. Is he eating something? Oh my it goodness! Looks it looks like, like, I like a globe, like, like a balloon. Yeah, yeah I really don't see many. I don't see tentacles. Oh my goodness! I was wondering if I don't. I don't see tentacles. I don't see tentacles. It looks like. We zoom out. He's really close. Really, really close. <laughs> Looks like we're running away from it. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's in a little Very hot strange. air balloon. Yeah, it is a little hot air balloon. <laughs> wow. Yeah, nice. I don't think any of these photos are going to come out the way I think they will. Yeah, it's almost like you can't. It's too transparent. It's I know. So we need like a darker background. Yeah. Not like that. Definitely not the hot air balloon. It's like a little like a uh, hot air balloon. Yeah. Kind of All right, we that's should. That's good. We should, yeah. Should Thanks. Thanks for for the footage of that. Good cat. I didn't see that. I'm not sure. Where uh, that came he flew from. right into a laser, and that's the only reason I saw him. That's amazing. <laughs> How can you tell it's a male? <laughs> we can't. <laughs> oh, I thought that was a joke somewhere. So we'll say it flew into the laser. Yes, that is true, it. Oh. I actually could, it could be both. It could be both at once. That's true. It could be hermaphroditic. Actually, a lot of jellyfish are, um, I don't know if that's the right term, but they. Yeah, for, for bio, if it's both, both at once, it is hermaphroditic. Then there's the organisms that switch in the absence of well, it's mostly females that switch if there's no males. Yeah, it's like some uh, alligators, I think. Some frogs, and some yeah, that change throughout their life spans, like um, wrasse. Yeah. Wrasse right. will start out as, what is it? They start out, mm, I, I can't, can't remember if they start male or female, but then it must be they start female and then turn no nope, I would I've think the other way around because that's kind of how it goes there's a harem, fish too. there's a harem right of females with a single male ras maybe I'm thinking of cuttlefish I don't know could be wrong one way or the other they at some point in their life switch genders switch sexes I mean <laughs> that's so satisfying well there's the ones that can uh, like give birth to a live baby through parthenogenesis without any sort of Sexual reproduction is crazy. Like, alligators do that sometimes. That's wild. That is wild. An adaptation that a lot of um, deep sea organisms that are hermaphroditic have, well, hermaphrodism, hermaphroditism, is kind of an adaptation to the deep sea where sometimes um, the next individual, nearest individual, is quite far away. Um, 
and species usually aim or would prefer, not that they're thinking about it, but prefer to have um, to be fertilized by sperm from a different individual. But if there is not one nearby and if that does not occur, they can self-fertilize too, just to continue the life until hopefully some other organism is close enough, some other individual is close enough. Still so many black corals. Oh, it's, it's oh. impressive. I have been keeping quiet shrimp count over here, just in case anyone was nice. worried. What about the black coral count? 34. Oh. What, what are we at? The black coral count? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think we'd be at hundreds. Tri triple well, digits. Much much triple more. digits. Triple yeah. digits. Oh, 42. if we were counting all the small ones, I mean, I don't, yeah. tens of thousands. <laughs> no, I've been keeping track. It's 42. Oh, <laughs> good thing we have you. What about the half? Oh, oh hello. Ooh. Red tail. Oh, 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 same one. Oh. Same one. Is that the same fish? <laughs> no. It's no. always the same fish. <laughs> I doubt it. Where are we? Or is it two fish? <laughs> or is it With blue fish? I was going to say, or is it blue fish? <laughs> hey, there's greenings in him. I Bye. can't go that fast. Oh, it's from back so here. cool to watch the way they swim. Oh my goodness, it like just took bobble heads. Right, He's trying to get the lasers. I want to see another Chonacops. You see a Chonacops? No, I want oh. to. I want to. I was like, where? Were cool, where? Yeah. They saw two <laughs> Chonacops on one watch yesterday. Well, so. I mean, Some people are just blessed. Exactly. We're shallower. Maybe we'll see a Chonox. <sighs> oh. I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> I was say, is that a it's, thing? It's like as I try to Google it quickly. AX at the end. But all the things you say back there sound made up. So <laughs> yeah, because it's always with the chun up. That was like another kind of fish. Uh, yes. <laughs> they don't all look very different. Sound made we'll up. Make a sound it's like sound. less translucent. It's it. like on its way to being a batfish. Right. <laughs> yeah. oh, another one of my cool, favorites. Like it's inside, let's oh, could we look at that sponge, please, under the lasers? Is that another yeah. erotic? It kind of looks like it from here, but it's almost like it's, I mean, I, I'm, is it growing on something? Is it stocked? Like, what's the deal there? Hold on, panels. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to sit down here. Ooh. Um. Like a very swirly. Go ahead. Oh, that's that very it's interesting. Cool. Is it cool? Is it foray? Yeah. Uh, it's like a little. Uh, it's like a young one. Except, it's got except the that the texture of it looks so uretid. The 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 yeah. wigglies. I think there's a shrimpy in there. The the foreads look more like brittle and glassy usually, but um, it does have foreed shape. What's Maybe, behind it? Oh, it behind looks like this foreed turbocharger. Would it, uh, are we in a position to collect a small grab of this, or is it, are we? Sure. Uh, yep, no problem. Okay. Yeah, come wide, please. I'm going to scooch up. It probably is a frayed, but it's interesting looking. And we did see one of these earlier, or we've seen a lot of these throughout this dive. And this looks maybe like a younger one, but not sure. Okay. Look like you have some mishikopatsis there as well, mm. very small. And this one's this freight is covered in hydroids too, I think. Yeah, in this stalk as well. The stalk, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't look. Or maybe bryozoans. It's hard to tell you actually to from but, uh, here. Your bias is at zero. Yeah, I see it. Okay. So are the hair-like features that are coming out? Is that from the sponge? <laughs> no, Trevor that's what we're discussing. Doesn't. If those are hydroids <laughs> or bryozoans. <laughs> oh, okay. If we could zoom like all the way in if we're stable on that sponge before collecting that would yes, be awesome. Yes, go ahead, Thanos. Wow, it's pretty like... Uh, oh, oh, 
it looks more that. it's more hydroid than brazo i think those are hydroids yeah oh there's a thing in yeah like a little yeah, hydroids. Is there something inside? Oh, oh yeah. and a squat lobster. Oh, yeah. I said earlier. It's just hiding in there. I said that and a shrimpy. Oh. There was a shrimpy on the other side. I'm. S it's very hard to tell how far down. That's quite far down. I yeah, don't, I, we'd have yeah. to take like, the whole no, thing. No, I don't want to do that. Oh, I wish there was a way to grab that or. <sighs> Can, is there a way to slurp it? Huh? Can we no, the, the little Whoops. creature? You want to suck yeah. them out? Can we try? <laughs> yeah. Oh Why not? I mean... Into three now? Yes. Ah. Ah. Did you happen to get a picture of that, Jane? I believe Is I did, cool? yes. Okay. I don't know if it's... Yeah, you can see it. Okay. All right, it's going. I'm flushing. Tree, can be you said? Quite Tree, correct. Quick to escape or... Oh, it looks like oh, we got yeah, we have a decent few branches in there. More than I yeah, thought. Yeah, that's what I said. I was like, we got like seven. Yeah, we, it wasn't so bad. Nice, nice, nice. Make it seem like we failed. Yeah. <laughs> no. Make me feel bad. I'm going to quiet the whole, the whole watch. <laughs> uh, is, oh, is this thing um, suctioning? No. Okay. Wow, we made it almost all the way to waypoint three. I'm impressed. Thank you, everybody, for I'm your hard get work. There. James, you want to all right, Manos, can we zoom in, please? Yeah. And I don't, you know, Steve's next. Steve will probably be collecting more than we were even. If, I don't wonder how far they're going to make it. <laughs> um, can you put the bubble cam on it? So no. Ah, don't swim away, Squatty. Thank you. Is the suction on? It's about to be. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, 20. It's this is going to be something 30. else. I don't know that we're... It's pretty well in there. Yeah, it's, it is. it's, it's curled up in... Yeah, with the squatties, it's like before making contact, you've got to be... Oh, oh no. no! Well, well might now as well we take might as well take it. Oh, so oh no! Don't do that. We're gonna grab it all. <laughs> it looks like it was kind of like already. Yeah. Like the dying. stalk was not. This the stalk was. Uh, yeah. Someone will be really happy. <laughs> yeah, we can dry part of it. We can ethanol part of it. We can get oh. the squat lobster for Paula. And we have hydroids from it. Trying to think about what to how to do, how to go about it. Well, uh, I can't grab it with the. Um, could go omega. Yeah. Omega, yeah. <sighs> Leila, when you have a set, could you explain the hydroids? What do you want to they? What do they do? Or do you, depending on where we put it. Yeah. You could try using. The Trying to think about how I can grab it without crushing Give him a it. Give a second. Because uh, if you usually grab, uh, you because use the, the little rubber things on top of the the snips. Yeah. But they're far back in the jaw, and I can't. Obviously, the rocks in the way. I can't get it that deep. Um, so I'm just thinking through my head how I'm going to get this without destroying it with the fingertips. Suction. Uh, I think it's too it heavy, is. probably and then just, to like, suction. Just to hold it and then to. Yeah, I was gonna say, I was gonna say that. Or I think, uh, I think you can hold in this top. You can close. Yeah, by yeah, the base. I think. I think you're worried. I mean, yeah, I can get the other arm. Kind of go on there, and you can go in there and grab it. Are you worried about crushing it? I am worried about crushing it. But we can give it a try on the base and just see how that goes. Since. The, All right, let me go into. Let me get the. Uh, can we zoom in, please? Bear. Yeah, this one is going to be quite rigid, but yeah, breakable because it's rigid. Okay, so yeah, you need to go further over back if you could see on the bubble.
No oh. squat lobster. Gosh dang it. And he there's left? another one, but yeah, there's another he's going to leave too. He's getting on the outside. Man, they are just. Yeah. Well, it would be worth trying to. S yeah, barely. Yeah, even. yeah. Um, um, okay, let's try the suction sampler. Oh, they See if we can um, get it stuck. Can we zoom out, please? Um, or we can. It does seem. I think it's it gonna be quite heavy. Yeah, we can try the scoop. We could try the scoop. Even I don't know. Yeah, if there's a way to even not the use the scoop up, but just to like I use it to. You want, okay, try it first. Yeah. I think it's going to be too heavy for the suction, but we can try it. But we don't need to slurp it up. Well, I just mean, I, I don't know that we'll be able to lift it with the suction that we uh, have. I see what you're saying. Hold on, hold on. Just but we can case, try it for just sure. Just in case. Yeah. What bucket would you want just in case? Uh, Three. Three. Okay, let me put in three. And you're thinking about the Oh, it's not going to go into a bucket. It's I not going to go into No, it. but it might break off. Oh, okay, that's what you're saying. I'm concerned that is you going to clot the, the slurp? Because oh, it's not going to go up the slurp. I don't think so. No, yeah. it's it'll too break rigid. Up. It'll break up before it... It's it definitely not going to go up the slurp. So. And that is one of the squat, lob Ready? squat lobster is, is hiding. Yeah, is there a squat lobster right next to it? Before we oh, approach? Zoom in. Yeah, zoom in, let's see. And if so... I oh. think it escaped up the rock. Yeah, no, they but might. But there, there is were another two one inside there. Lower, right? Oh, yeah. there's there were two. There's yeah. one right there. Yes. Where? If you, it looks Further like down. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're right. Oh, you're right. Okay. It's um, literally. We would have to approach it oh, with oh, oh, full oh, oh, blast. He's on. in the thing. He's right there. Yeah. yeah. So we'd have to turn suction on and then try and get out yeah. from behind. It's on. Okay. Oh. My fifth forty. Got oh it. yes! <laughs> to an applause. <laughs> That's awesome. That's oh, and it's not too heavy. Ah! It's it's it's. I okay, won't. Uh, this I, yeah. is uh, so not gonna stay in here very easily. Oh my god. So if oh my if god. I can request a front bio box. Yeah. Oh my yep. god. Okay. Oh my god. Um, hold on. Let me let me play this out. Um, you can uh, turn up the suction if you like. I'm gonna go up to fifty. But I should hold it. Squat lobsters in there holding on somewhere. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Okay. Made it. And then um, I need to look, so I need to see. Okay, well, I'm gonna retract the camera. It's all it's retracted already, so we can. Okay, I'm nice gonna go work. slowly because there's stuff in there. So coming out. Uh, no more than that, I think. Huh? Uh, just hold it there for a second. Yeah. Um, I don't want to open it more than we have to. Yeah, so it can just be in the, let's see, whole 30 centimeter Fred sponge. Okay, oh, open the, um, a bit more? Uh, yes, a bit more, please. Um, I think I'm like pretty confident that you can, this line can be crossed out. Uh, All right, you can drop a suction. Hold uh, on. Because if you were to drop, it wouldn't go anywhere. Okay. It's one. I think one hand's heavier. It'll fall. Ready? Yeah. Here we go. Is suction stopped? All we need is this fall right in the box. It's a little bit heavier than we thought. Yeah, it is. Okay, here I'm going to use my fingers rather than this thing. This thing is gonna be so big. I'm gonna <laughs> destroy this suction hose if I. Yeah, close it up. Oh five eight. Uh, we're calling it one sample. Yeah. It looks like it's mostly in there, or is it hanging? No, I no, think it's still, it's the base off. is still on top, yeah. Yeah, oh, it is. The okay, um... I want to bump it out a little. I was going to say bump, just a little bump, not a lot. Just a little bit. Can you do that again? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go in. Oh, 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 oh. Sometimes it just needs a nudge, okay. Nice. Nice. Fantastic. Oh, perfect size. 
when you find the perfect Tupperware container for your leftovers. <laughs> that satisfaction. <laughs> I'm drooling because of <laughs> And you all did that amazingly yeah, well, right at the end job. of our watch here too. We got the lot, we good got the job insisting the on the slurp, Michael. Yeah. yeah. The slurp was good. James says he's stubborn, so yeah. he got it. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Powerhouse. So, so we're going to get so Whoa. close to Waypoint 3, they can't even like like get on us about it. They don't what even else? know we that, that we've been. Do we want that star? We'll get that star. <laughs> crawling around. <laughs> uh, they do not go up suction hoses. They hold on to walls and stuff. That doesn't sound Where? like stubborn behavior to me. <laughs> Where is the... There he is. Look at him. He wants to fight us. That's a different one. So oh, slurps yeah. one and two are left, right? Uh, he's Correct. been there for a while. And five has they a, a uh, piece of uh, coral piece of that I think they the didn't intend dive. to collect. Yeah. We could put something else in there, though. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, multiple of them. I mean, they could all get and away. More. We go. Yeah. I am just super grateful for all the positivity in the chat today. We have a that sample collection was incredible to watch. Well done. Yeah. Oh, well I done, thank you, thank pilots. You. Good oh, stuff. Good, yeah. We oh, had an this? aloha from a lot going on here. Whoa. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Squat lobster at the top. Life making the most of death. We have hey. another. It was amazing to wake up to such a vibrant ecosystem. Yeah. That squat lobster it's is going to be amazing to go to bed to this <laughs> <laughs> a fly by, a fly by uh, Oh, now you're squat like lobster up. hooked. You're like <laughs> no, I want to see if we can do that one on the fly like as we go by. I, 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 we probably could. Um, I don't want to waste a jar. We have two. Yeah. It's up to you guys if we even try it. <laughs> uh, we, why don't we just get good footage of it? How about that? Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> sounds, sounds like a, James a, is like a sounds consolidation like a plan. Or whatever. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. We can zoom in there, Vanos. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that squat lobster on the end is really, really cool. Excuse me. Oh, nice. So, ah, I never answered about the hydroids. Yeah, yeah. So it looks like, oh, I mean, this there. actually also looks like hydroids. A hydroids. There's like a yellow looking. Um. So yeah. the hydrozoa uh, are uh, also within the cnidarians. We have just been having a great cnidarian. Oh wait, no, it was an echinoderm day. Okay, these are within the the cnidarians, like corals are, um, and like jellies are, jellyfish, and um, That's a big one. they're co colonial organisms, or at least like in this form they are. They're often colonial. Um, Can we come wide, panel? So I'm just gonna sit down and we'll. Uh and the different polyps uh, within the whole hydrozoan colony um, oh, cool. have different jobs. So they some are responsible for feeding, some for reproduction. There we go. Some of them, uh, called dactylozoids, for example, are the ones that um, are there for Zoom defense. Like. And so those stinging cells, the nidi that are uh, you're familiar with from jellyfish, they have those in high concentration on their Spot. dactylozoids. And if you know fire coral from shallow reefs, that's a kind of hydrozoan. And the reason they sting so bad is those those dactylozoids, those defense hydroids, uh, uh, defense zoids. Wow, what a good shot of this squat lobster. So, Paula's Moody, gonna be so proud of us. If I remember, is, let's see in my book what I take note of things, that Mooney, Munadops. Look, look at them whiskers. <laughs> Antennae. Is Paula on the next watch? No. No, it's Nick. Oh, she's not downstairs, right? She's she was on the last watch. Yeah, oh. I think so. Ooh, what is that? Is Ooh, a, shrimp. a shrimp and a crinoid. <laughs> We've is got that what a lot that going on is? here. So and brittle stars. On. Twenty-six on our shrimp count. Nice job. All right. These are good Beautiful zooms. zooms. Can we come, yep, come we wide, can please? Move on. I love watching the brittle stars move. What does it remind you of? People how stretching, doing yoga? It just looks weird. <laughs> Lynette, how far are we from waypoint three? I think one of my favorite things is watching like, uh, there was like a time lapse of sea stars. There was like a battle of sea stars. <laughs> 
<laughs> or a sea star comes in and all the starfish scatter. Oh, sorry, I don't think you're on this field in it. Four zero meters. Would it be like a thumb more? We can get close to this, people. We can do it. You said 40 meters? We got, we got yeah. 10 oh, minutes. Oh, yeah. We can do that in two minutes. We'll just zip ahead right at the end. <laughs> Kick up some dust. Kick up some do dust, some that's right. Oh, we'll don't say donuts, please. Oh, do you say cake? <laughs> Lena, when you hand, when you hand over, keep keep the screen like this so they can't tell where we started. You know, <laughs> we have been going slow, but there's been so much yeah, to see. There's been so much to see. This is like <laughs> there why has we're been here. so much to see. We got to do. It is why we're here. Yeah, we, do we never to we it. never get to look, look at stuff. Yes, that's right. And we're gonna have to process these samples. So, oh man, I have to write the summary. <sighs> It's like going to see so Christmas lights yeah. and driving yeah. 50 through the neighborhood. We have been seeing so much. <laughs> stick or whalebone stick? Mm -hmm. Oh. Stick. Well, it's a stick. Uh, I was getting hopeful. If you need me to list bio or anything, let me know. Oh. Bridge mm -hmm. nav. Can we have another three zero oh, meters these ones, ah. Ooh, two Wait, points. could we look at the sea Thank lily you. right here, actually? This is a, 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 uh -oh. a... The one on the left, the yep. red one? That's Proisocrinidae, I think. Chryso? Proiso, P-R-O-I-S. Proisocrinidae. So is that a stock crinoid? Something like that's that. A palm tree. That's uh, it's, it's a, palm a sea tree, lily. Yeah. Yes, a stocked crinoid. Beautiful. You can that's zoom in there, Bob. Oh, there it is in the cam, the still. The color is really stunning. Yeah, so beautiful. We, I don't, have we seen any sea lilies yet on this watch? I don't think so. I don't think so. No. Oh. No, there is one. We saw one. But not the same species. No, the, the bright red is I'm so just gonna pretty. sit down here and then we'll I like that full it. body shot. I'd like to get a photo of that before it goes full zoom. Yeah, yeah, hold on, we'll get it back. Just give me a second. I just wanted to sit down and then yeah, no be, worries, no rush. be much more stable for your pictures. There's All a whole day. sponge up there on the left, too. This will sit down. So there were times in history when these sea lilies were... I mean, they're huge, multi many meter tall sea lilies made forests. There were like forests of sea lilies Very cool. with understories and overstories and all kinds of things living amongst them and hiding in them and between the layers. Like so a kelp forest? Yeah, right, but of sea lilies. Cool. So if we see fossilized like crinoids in different parts of the U.S., is this similar to that? Yeah, or? yeah, nice. definitely. Awesome. Pretty. And that's marine snow or sediment I from. I think that's sediment from her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. yeah. All right. It's a nice sponge in the back too. So crinoids, we can see attach it in the substrate. All right, come wide. have a stalk, but come also the they back can right be there. free living. And then they can swim in the water column and uh, attaching different corals or other organisms that give them the height to um, a better place for them to be able to. What is it? Yeah, oh, yeah. around waypoint two at top of. Oh, what's that? Ridge. You zoom in on that? Is that a fish? He's got something on him. What is mm. that? Hat. And he's, got a, he's got oh, a he's hat. Got a hat. <laughs> he's a chef. Is that an iso, iso, uh, isopod? On it. Ah, hold if, on. if we can hold get on, any footage on. of it, it'd be great. Hold on, hold on. Panos, can you just keep it out for a second? Sure. Wow. There we go. We can zoom in again. I want to keep it there. there we Lost go. it. Oh, oh, turn around, buddy. Come on. It's hot Where's the lights? Off. There we go. Ah. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Now, what is that? It's got a it's got a parasite on it. It's oh. Probably an isopod. Uh, keep it there. Keep it there. And yes, we have gotten several mentions of the website not showing the, the watch, so we will make sure that we pass that along. Hey, stop moving, oh, you. Thing, thing. 
Would you come back here? Why won't you listen to me? Okay. Ah, it's too quick. That's kind of cool. For all of our listeners out there, we're 1,829 meters deep on this dive. We've had a very productive watch. We've seen lots of diversity here. And we are exploring an isolated seamount at the southwestern limit of the Johnston Atoll exclusive economic zone. We are getting ready for a watch change, so in a couple minutes you might hear us go quiet. Never fear, we're just switching over to the next watch. We still have several hours left on this dive. Nemini. Yeah. Cool one. Ooh, we haven't really seen one of those this Cool sponge over there too, huh? Can you zoom in on that, Panos? Does anybody have an estimate on the size of that oh, fish? Oh, well, Tyria sponge. That's pretty cool. We have all of our friends coming in for. Oh, hey, I didn't even see. The next Hi, watch. give me one second. Um, can we come wide, please, Panos? There's so much to write. <laughs> Yeah, this is, there's so much here. So the 12 to 4 watch is going to say thank you for your positivity and watching us and cheering us on, being excited for all of the Heavy wonderful Corellium. discoveries. We are going to take a couple minutes to switch out. So uh, I guess there's only two Rodan. Oh, I'm still on here.
She said that. Good morning, four to eight. Good morning. Um, quick note on ship positioning for science. Uh, we just the ship just finished a move, so Atalanta is swinging a little bit here, um, and we obviously there's a lot to look at here. Um, so we've got some time to look around. I know there was interest in a potential. Rock collection, perhaps? Roger. <laughs> Roger. Rock, rock. Rock, rock. Rock, rock. rock, rock. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, the, uh, so um, it's been really spectacular since uh, they pretty much got up on top of this ridge. Um, and so uh, the chances of finding loose rocks here, especially, you know, outcroppings like this uh, or depressions like this where there might be loose stuff, we might want to probe around there in there for a little bit. Um, since we only have four rocks, uh, our geologist said that's way too little. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I think we're going to oblige them uh, and look for some rocks in the next few minutes. Rock, rock. <laughs> okay, hopefully there's not too much more swing to uh, Atalanta, and then we'll, we'll still have enough room to sit here. But it, it really has been amazing. I've been watching since about 3 o'clock, um, and it's just been pretty, I mean, I would call this you know, relatively high density compared to what we were seeing last night, um, which was uh, a zero, in some cases, corals, uh, except from sea pens. Uh, and the diversity has just really popped. Uh, we're reaching kind of a, a little bit of a bathymetric, bathymetric threshold for a few different families of corals. Around 1,800 meters, 1,900 meters, we start seeing um, paramarciids, uh, which I haven't seen yet this morning, but we're going to take a look. Those are yellow fans, uh, but there's a few steropathies that are imposters. Um, so th this is, this is going to be a really interesting transition as we move up onto the summit. But mostly black corals uh, from what we've seen here, as well as a number of octocorals, primnoids primarily, a few bamboos. Um, they've gotten some really good associate shots of um, squat lobsters lately. Uh, yeah, I think I think Nick will be happy with some anything in there if it's possible. I don't know if it's loose, but we'll have to do some poking. Uh, video, can you just open up the iris just to crack? Oh, actually, I'm just going to turn on down lights. Okay, yeah, thanks. Okay. There you go. Lovely. All right, so again, um, there are viewers online. This is now the four to um, eight crew. I, we're not super stable here. One sec. Are oh, exploring an unnamed seamount around the Johnston Atoll region. And our current depth is uh, 1,822 meters. Steve. Yeah, uh, so we're specifically looking at with the, we have a request for black coral uh, colony zoom, so okay. black corals okay. that look like this here. Yeah, we're not going to be, I'm not, I'm not pushed up against anything, I'm more just sat yeah. right down with yeah. the head on. I'm, I'm so not making I'm not a be request. Super stable this way, like as you push, the vehicle's going to yeah. respond a lot, but okay. give it a go. No worries, thanks. Um, So the request for, for black corals was made by a shoreside scientist, generally, not specifically for any one um, coral, but rather uh, to look at the black corals that may have uh, polychaete worm associates, which are important uh, taxonomic characters for species description, and specifically for the species Bathypathy pseudoalternata, uh, which has occurred in this area. We're just doing a, some rock probing here, see if anything's loose. Might be firmly crusted, so we might have to do some maneuvering. Um, but we're, we'll see what we can find. Sounds good. Uh, 
that, sorry. Well, it's okay. It's part of it. We currently have four rocks. They're all in this. Or four rocks or three rocks? I believe there's four. Four. And most of them are in the starboard box. Uh, I don't think they're particularly large, but we won't know until we open the box. I think there's just three rocks. Yes. Three rocks? And one push core. Okay, one push core. Got it. What you said? The downside of the the ridge is that uh, there's a, there's a tendency one. for not a lot of loose material to be available. Oh, that rock moved. Oh, that's yeah. too, that might be too big. Oh, you think it's too big? What do you think? I think we already have a couple of big rocks. Yeah. So, oh, wow. Um, Voice of moderation. Any, uh, anything try in that it. area? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's a numbers game um, from what we've discovered over the past few cruises is that something like 20% of rocks are good rocks for dating, you know, 10 to 20%. So it, if, if you collect more, uh, more rocks, uh, better chance of getting ages. Uh, what is that too far over there? It's amazing how much you can see when you're just sitting in an area. Yeah. Um, because when you're moving across the seafloor, you lose a lot of the contrast. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, sorry. Thanks. So I was looking in the background, for example, at the squat lobster. Uh, oh um, gosh, really it's very, very uh, high contrast. Looks like it's on a Chrysogorgia colony. But you can hardly yeah. make out the coral. If we can get a zoom on that after, that'd be good. Yeah, yeah I think we'll try. What was the rack? Uh, oh, the the last rock collection number. The, the brain is not talking to the mouth. Fifty-six. Today. Fifty-six. So that that's about a few hundred meters behind us. So this is a good time for that. Uh, the little the squat lobster. The squat lobster on the. Yeah. 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 Squat you, you said zero five six was the last rock. Top yeah. Top of okay. the screen. A little bit to the left. That it's about 450 meters behind us. The uh, 056. Anything in here look good? Uh, Geo. Yeah, uh, I was actually hoping we might be able to probe around in there. Just uh, yeah. I don't know if that's too big. I think that actually might be perfect. That's a poke. Squishy? Not squishy? Any bets? Not squishy. What's the difference between squishy and crumbly in terms of rocks? And what? The difference between squishy and crumbly in terms of rocks. Um, one of them is an official term and the other is not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How about crunchy? Crunchy, yeah. Another unofficial yeah, term. Yeah, what, what did we say last night? Friable? Like we Usually we say brittle. Um, cooking rocks every year. You did say they taste good, so. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think some other uh, one. Only one. <laughs> yeah, I would, I would uh, push back on that. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's like there was a paper that was published just recently from some researchers in Germany uh, at the Wegener Institute uh, nice. that found that um, crusts and deep sea nodules from the Clarion Clipperton zone had uh, relatively high levels of alpha radiation um, yeah. naturally occurring. But that's just the crust. Yes. Well, it's in and in, in, inside the the cr inside oh the module. Oh man. Yeah. Okay. So don't go <laughs> digging around in the inside thinking that you're gonna okay. escape that those ionizing radiations. Yeah. Sorry. Um, and interestingly, uh, rocks also just... give off uh, rad radon gas over time. They found. And the danger of having lots and lots of rocks okay. and enclosed spaces can provide a uh, radiation hazard for, you know, basically air, you know, the, the gases that might be off-gassing from, from crusts. Sure. So even rocks aren't safe? Yeah. I know. It's just, we are okay. realists on the 4 8 here. We're just trying to... <laughs> provide these PSAs for uh, our <laughs> listening audience. Careful what you... He's trying to discourage collecting rocks, and I uh, advise <laughs> against that. Nonsense. Nonsense. 
we are equal opportunity explorers here. That's right. But I just I, I thought it was very interesting because um, the researchers who were reporting on that paper were uh, more concerned with the pulverized stages of iron manganese nodule uh, production, uh, mm. you know, the processing mm -hmm. of them, uh, because uh, oftentimes when the nodules are taken back aboard ship, they're pulverized and uh, transported to refining facilities. And the powders and dusts uh, can, go, can uh, cause uh, inhalation of those products, which essentially is a easier way for the radioactive isotopes to get into your body. That's not good. Yeah. So, sorry to start you off on such a cheery <laughs> moment this morning. <laughs> yeah. And to be clear on Nautilus, we're not uh, pulverizing rocks, we're just slicing. I got an opportunity to try that yesterday. That was fun. Nice. What uh, did you science, we're going to keep looking for a little more reachable spot. Sure. Uh, maybe right here? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to pull up the uh, triclops on my screen. Okay. Because those are some really nice shots. I love the, the downslope views. Not sure if anything here looks like it might be, uh, yeah. if we might be able to grab anything. We can just, we can follow this seam. I guess we can try for. I'm look. I'm also okay. looking for places to land that okay. don't have <laughs> coral yeah. on them. And yeah. it's, they're few and far between. Darn. Here we go. This little oh. area here yeah, this looks, looks pretty good. Let me see if there's a good landing spot. I like this. Don't you okay. hate it when you get yeah, to work yeah. in the morning and there's just corals in your parking spot? And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a real pain. <laughs> That's a nice picture on the still cam. I've yeah. been working here 15 years. I earned that spot. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> Pilot of the month. <laughs> <laughs> Pilot of the... Love that. Yes, please. <laughs> yeah, there, there's some really cool observations we've been making of um, a species of Europe, Tychus, uh, squat lobster that it seems to associate only with black corals. Um, you can see it kind of in t on the top half of the frame. Uh, so far, just in this small area, there's been a couple of observations. Excellent. There's an unbranched uh, primnoid right in front of us. Again, not a great uh, landing. landing spot. Not a super secure landing spot, but okay. good to go. You can go for it. Top of the Definitely looks more attached now. Get those Tyrannosaurus arms out there. <laughs> oh, Beauty. not attached. Oh, oh it's got an associate, too. Now, where is this going to go? In nice. Oh, nice. Do you think you can go in, in Omega, Steve, on top of uh, the No, it's going to have to go into the starboard side. Yeah. Okay. There's very fragile stuff in the forward. B, B uh -huh. C, or D in the starboard. I think it's going to be too big for the small mm. partition, so we're going to go yeah. in the any of the outer boxes on the starboard side, outboard side. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, where do you want it to go? Starboard box, outboard uh, compartments, either E or F. Before okay. we, before we do that, can you give a little spin? I don't like that little indenture, but you don't like the what? I don't like that little concave. Uh, Mm. right there but oh yeah so what do you think i think we'll pass on that oh goodbye Bye, <laughs> <little rock. laughs> got a nice little ride there for a second it's the first time it's moved in yeah great. of years i'm sure great replacement though millions yeah. of years yeah, i was trying to get the coral like upright so it just you know yeah less trauma like an alien abduction when they pick up back. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be recovering nicely, I'm sure. 
Mm, that one. It's really flat, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that looks like it should be alright. Too right. flat? No. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's still roughly 10 centimeters wide. Okay. This will be nice if we put in the outside box. We should be able to put more on top of it. It's very distinctive, too. So, All right. 10, 10 centimeters, Nick? Yeah, 10, 10 to 15. Okay, I wanted to ask you, um, why angular rocks? Was, what would be an issue with like a more rounded off rock? I think the, the issue is okay, uh, it's indicative yep. of a, a strong current uh, coming through and Can rounding the rock over time. Um, I'm sorry? And as we know, currents Can you hear me good? cause okay. alteration, yep. okay. and alteration okay. is not ideal. Um, but, you know, it's not always the case. Uh, as we've learned from our first dive, uh, I think our, our rock that was uh, very round actually turned out to look the most promising and actually have visible uh, plagioclase feldspar crystals in there. So it's it's kind of just a, a guideline to, yeah. you know, uh, pick and choose. But at the end of the day, um, like Steve said earlier, the more rocks we have, the better chance we have of, of getting uh, data so rocks. So you don't have a preference for E or F, right? No. It looks like E's got a bigger rock in it. F has a slightly smaller one. Yeah, F is fine. So F is farther away. Oh, okay. Yeah, aft. This is 059. Lovely. 059, thank you. Uh, that was a question. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> question mark? You said it very confidently. Sounded yeah. <laughs> sounded like a statement. 059, question mark? <laughs> There's some really cool macro action going on in the triclops right now. I don't know if anyone has it. Yeah. Up there. Oh, yeah. That's a new use for that camera. Yeah. That's beautiful. That is a great picture. I wish the focus was more on a, a bit of a dial. It's more of like a... Oh, neat. And it's, it has like these... Um, Preset ticks. Um, do you guys have? Do, are both cameras working properly right now? Uh, or the did you lose the sextant? We have not used the sextant cam. Um, is it on? It uh, is unclear. Can you check the power? Yeah. Yeah, it's on. Yeah. Um, they were having some problems with it shutting off mid dive before. Yeah. Yeah, it's not connecting, so uh, it hasn't been connecting since we got...